Holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They loved Christ in their life. They imitated him in their death, and therefore they were crowned in triumph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the face of the Roman persecutions, many third century Christians apostatized, publicly renouncing Christ and his church. When these lapsi repented and sought the admission to the church, some Christians insisted they deserved excommunication. Others wanted to welcome them with outstretched arms, oblivious to the wound that they had caused in the body of Christ. Popes Cornelius and Cyprian, the Bishop of Carthage, were one in viewing the lapsi with the merciful eyes of Christ, both advocated penance, followed by reconciliation. Both Cornelius and Cyprian received the crown of martyrdom Cornelius in 253, and Cyprian five years later. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people, as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy, spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, love is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, Blessed the, the people, people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. 
Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine. And you said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he's a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, who lived in the third century, a time of severe persecution in the church. They opposed those who thought the sin of apostasy was unforgivable, welcoming those who returned to the church in the sacraments of repentance and the penitential period. Now, Cyprian is always someone I feel close to because many, many moons ago in a former life, I wrote a doctoral dissertation on his, in his treatment of the lapsed of people who had fallen during the during time of persecution. So anyway, that's so anyway, whenever this day comes up, I think about my labors of many moons ago, and thank God that got through it all fine. Now, there were shepherds of their people, and, and, and Sipin Cornelius, that is, and stewards of God's mercy, lived out in the fullness of the church. And, and God's mercy, like all mercy, stems from love. Love not, love not as a feeling that is fickle to the mood of the day, but as an authentic willing for the good of the other, a love that is sacrificial, dying to self, and maybe for others, for its own sake, for the flourishing and good of others and the world. Now, St. Paul speaks to this in his letter to the Corinthians. He is talking about a love that requires effort and commitment, self-control and humility, forgiveness and selfish, selflessness. It's not a love that happens to us by fate. It's a love that we choose to put into practice. So perhaps rather than thinking of love as some, something that's some, somewhat static, with descriptive adjectives such as love is patient, we can think of love as a dynamic activity, a perfect animation of the highest form of other virtues. This, thus patience is love. Kindness is love. Bearing all things together, hoping all things, enduring all things, these are aspects of love. Um, being unfailing is love. Emphasizing it in this way helps us to hear and understand God. God is love. In fact, I know Sister Kathleen Glavich in her textbook, a book that she written for people who've received confirmation, talks about uh, the, you know, the fruits of the Holy Spirit as, as first personifications of love. I don't have it with me where I quote it, but it's just one of the things that's a very striking way to see Love this very point being made about love being something that's very dynamic and not static. Now, emphasizing this way helps us to hear and understand that God is love in a new way. For these words do not describe God's actions as much as they speak the truth of who God is. And as such, as God has loved us, with this help to love one another, we're able to do that. After all, he, and he does not command us to do something that we cannot do or doesn't command us to do something that doesn't give us the grace to do. But we can't love in this way without the assistance of grace, God's unmerited favor, the grace we come to seek and receive in the sacraments. As we come to the table of the Lord, let's pray for the grace to truly be that love. So dear brothers and sisters, let's lift our hearts, unite our hearts and lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer 
who is merciful and loving. For all members of the church, may the Lord increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern, may the spirit of wisdom guide them in their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families who are facing brokenness and discord, may the Lord strengthen them in their commitment to love one another through times of joy and challenge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Lord continue to draw us into greater communion with each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our be beloved departed, especially Alexander O'Connor and Marilyn McKay, as well as for Father William J. Carroll and Monsignor E. Robert Arthur. May Saints Cornelius and Cyprian and all the angels, saints, and martyrs greet them with our Lord in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, medical personnel, and others coordinating response to the coronavirus, may God give them wisdom and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those infected with or recovering from the coronavirus, May Jesus, the divine physician, offer them hope and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving eternal Father, hear and answer these prayers we have brought before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. For into the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. For you, the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and honor the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian. May the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but the wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, our preachers of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end, and without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed in and unwillingly of his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out even for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring into the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope. Wilton, our bishop and his assistant bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It is you who stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Now let's make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you, I believe that you, 
are present. Are present. In the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire. And I desire. To receive you. To receive you. Into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot. Since I cannot. At this moment. At this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually. Into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if. As if. You were already there. You were already there. I unite myself. I unite myself. Holy to you. Holy to you. Never permit me. Never permit me. To be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.